probably about 50% of astronauts are licensed amateur radio operators as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, I, th I think what you're saying has so much merit. I mean, because when you're sitting here and you're showing me, you know, the, the decoding of SSTV and you're showing these things in an amateur setting, I think one of the big differences between a commercial setting is that this is something who, for somebody, whether it's a student or whether it's a lifelong learner who's trying to learn about the fundamentals of the technology, being able to do it in an amateur radio setting, you can get hands-on in a way that you just can't with commercial radio. So you can, you can truly learn the technologies and you can understand how images are decoded at a base level. You know, if I pull out my, my iPhone and I send uh, an image, it seems like magic, right? Right. But at what's, what's actually happening in the background is you're just encoding information, you're sending it over, you know, uh, the airwaves on a different protocol in this case, but it's the same thing that we're doing with amateur radio. 